YouTube, JB from Oz again. So, as part of the ongoing saga of the Bobcat, a while ago I did a rebuild on the dash in the machine and uh, basically cleaned it all down, replaced the plastic lenses over each of the gauges. Um, I managed to do a 3D printed copy of the light knob for this side lamp knob. So that's just 3D printed there, quite a nice finish. I modelled that up as a copy of the shape that we had on this knob here. I also didn't have a nut for the glow plug sensor and so that's a 3D printed nut there. In addition to which to get the key off I had to 3D print a spanner to get that and all of these patterns are available on Thingiverse for anybody who might want those. Um, I also 3D printed a bezel holder which allowed me to uncrimp the back of the bezels without damaging the face of the bezels by again printing a 3D profile that the lens sat in whilst I opened that. I'll add some photographs into this video here just illustrating what that looked like. So back on to the reason I'm now looking at this. When I've fixed up the starter motor and all the other wiring, I'm now getting the Bobcat cranking over quite nicely, but I feel like the glow plugs aren't really getting hot enough or some, something's not quite right. When I did the rebuild and opened up the sensor, I found that inside that was just a piece of wire and when I first turned it on and, and applied current to it, I actually got a red glow out of this sensor which indicated to me that the lamps were heating up. Now most recently I checked the voltage across the sensor and also across the glow plugs and I'm seeing about 8 volts drop across this sensor and about 5 volts drop across the glow plugs. So it suggested to me and at the time it looked as if the wire in here might be a little bit stuffed and as obviously resistance goes up, the uh, heating effect or the amount of current going through it is impacting what's going through the glow plugs. So I'm going to pull it apart and I'm going to try swapping out the wire inside this with a new piece of heating element wire, which is what I'll be using in my electric foundry. Um, so I'll bring you back in once I've got this instrument out of the gauge. It's just straight connected in the back there, so there'll be two connections plus undoing the nut in the front. Okay, so this is the sensor and I 3D printed this nut because I didn't have one to suit and uh, I was pretty happy with the outcome there. It's a one mil pitch thread on it. Um, previously there was some bodgy old other piece of stuff doing the job. So inside the sensor, it's just a metal can. And a bit of wire. So my goal will be to replace that piece of wire with something I fold up out of this kiln wire. So, I'll make something up, I'll bring you back. All right, so, this is what we're attempting to copy. The wire looks a little bit thinner, but, you know, bush repair, we'll see how we go. Okay, so a little bit of time later, that was our pattern, and this is the one I've made up. Should be somewhere near it. Give us something to try anyway. So that sits inside the box, and Thanks. 
Okay, so there we are, ready for testing. All right, so the glow plug seems to be working a lot better now, but time to put a bit more juice into the battery and come back. So bring you back in the next installment, see if it worked.